Hey friends, it's Renee with Domestic Machine Sewing. If this is your first time, welcome. I uh, used to do videos pretty regularly, but now they're pretty spare. <laughs> sparse, is that the word? Sparse? But anyways, life just gets in the way and I just can't do a video every week these days. But anyway, I wanted to show you my latest make. This is the Danbury Tote. Uh, Kasaya with Sia Swags did the Danbury Tote and you want to follow her video for instructions because it's perfect, of course. Um, but a friend of mine wanted a computer bag and they wanted um, it more like a purse and she sent me pictures from uh, coach bags that has the computer bag and they were more like tote bags purses. But she has a big computer so I picked the Danbury tote that's like the biggest tote I could find. And I even enlarged it because her computer lengthwise is big. And I didn't do the pocket side pockets with the Danbury but I did add a slip pocket in the back and the thing this is a, this girl's first um, pattern the Danbury tote and so she didn't have patterns where you trace she just had the measurements that you had to cut out yourself so that's not one of my favorite things to do uh, I prefer a pattern where you cut out but this was her first and once you do one uh, the tote is pretty easy the thing that really was my struggle because I mean I got to work out with this thing is doing the adding the computer pocket and i watched several videos and just trying to figure it out to make sure it's wide enough for her computer anyway i figured it out got it done so this is the top and i love it's a drop in but you do a binding around here and i just used i just purchased the binding half inch binding i think it is that you open up it's one inch i don't know i'll look and see what I got and put it down in the, the um, description. But that was very easy to do. You know me, I'm new to binding. I've taken the leap and I'm liking it. So there's the front, the top, and so there's the inside. There's the computer pocket. I lined everything with um, waterproof canvas. Got from Walmart, the red waterproof canvas. This side has a slip pocket with a magnet. This side, has a zipper pocket and then the center is where the computer pocket is and I put three snaps on it to hold it in and it's got waterproof canvas right here this is not waterproof canvas and what else did I add she wanted a cross body strap so I added a cross body strap I'm not sure I can't remember I think uh, the Danbury tote she has, I think she has a zipper pocket, but not a slip pocket. I'll have to go back and look. I just normally add them anyway to every bag I make, uh, usually. So I didn't pay attention. I just did my own thing. <laughs> you know how we do. You know how those bag makers do. So anyway, there's my Danbury tote computer bag. It is a huge bag, but I, um, I'm glad I'm done. She really likes it. I sent her a video of what it looks like, and um, she really likes it. I did use my uh, Teflon sheet. I, you cannot sew patent leather without a Teflon sheet. And I did a little short video on how I did it. Just tape it. And I got this from Amazon. This is different than my sheet from my heat press. My heat press one's a little bit softer. And I think you can order the softer ones. But this one's a little more stiff. And I just cut it um, to size. And I just cut out a little hole. And it just it slips with this. It just slides. It doesn't stick. And also, I thought about, you know how those, um, was it the glitter vinyl kind of sticks too? And I thought, well, I just need to use a Teflon sheet on my sewing machine and it won't stick. So that's been a real blessing to think about that. I got the idea a long time ago from Crafty Gemini. She did, um, it wasn't sewing a bag, a purse. What was she sewing? Oh, for a quilt. Instead of buying that slider that costs you a ton of money, for when you're free motion quilting, you put a Teflon sheet down. And then it came to my um, my brain, really came to my brain, actually, that I could use it for the patent leather so it wouldn't stick. I actually had an idea. Ripley's. Anyway, the Danbury Tote. Check it out. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember the... Um, pattern maker's name but I'll I'll look at it and put it down in the in the links below of course I get all my zippers from my handmade space 
Just made a zipper tab. That was it. What else did I do? The handles. I always do three inch handles and just do them in half. I haven't ventured out to a different handle yet. I know I'm chicken on anything. It takes me a while. But anyways, I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great Christmas and Valentine's. And if uh, you give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. And what else? If you want to see a video every now and then, <laughs> I just can't do them every week. And my life is just too busy right now. Anyway, um, subscribe and it'll notify you whenever I put up one. I, say hello in the comments to me. I'd appreciate that. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Take care.